the current Hindu rulers of New Delhi are digging up the red fort to find out the tomb of a Mughal prince. But why exactly? Dara Shikho was the Mughal crown prince and the eldest son of Shah Jahan who built the Taj Mahal. His brother Aurangzeb killed him to rule the Mughal Empire and Dara was a scholar who is known for his translation of the ancient Hindu scriptures, the Upanishads, from Sanskrit to Persian, which he titled the Sirai Akbar or the Great Secret. This translation was later translated into Latin and English and became known as the Upanishad A Hind or the Upanishads of India. A famous French traveller and translator, Anquetil Dupont, translated the book from Persian to Latin. It was published under the name Opnekha. Dara Shikho's translation of the Upanishads was one of the first translations of Hindu scriptures into European languages. And it had a significant impact on Western philosophers and intellectuals. Dara Shikho's translation of the Upanishads emphasized the idea that all religions are essentially the same and that there is a fundamental unity underlying all spiritual paths. This idea had a profound influence on Western thinkers, such as Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau, who saw in Hinduism a spiritual tradition that resonated with their own views on the unity of all things. Upanishads emphasized the concept of Brahman, not Brahman, Brahman, the transcendent reality that underlies all existence. This idea had a significant influence on German philosophers such as Immanuel Kant and Arthur Schopenhauer who saw in Brahman a philosophical concept that could help to explain the nature of reality. Dara Shikho's translation of the Upanishads emphasized the idea that the true self is not the ego, but rather the Atman, the divine spark within each individual. This idea had a significant impact on Western philosophers such as Friedrich Nietzsche and Martin Heidegger, who saw in the Upanishads a philosophical tradition that emphasized the importance of self-discovery and self-realization. Arthur Schopenhauer was really impressed after reading Upanishads. The Upanishads are the result of the highest level of human intellect and their idea is nearly superhuman. The study of Upanishads has greatly influenced me and brought me much comfort. The Upanishads included profound creative and lofty ideas in every syllable and their entire content is infused with an elevated pious and sincere attitude. No other subject is as useful and as elevating as the study of the Upanishads. This is what Arthur Schopenhauer has written about Upanishads. According to Schopenhauer, the Upanishads has brought him comfort throughout his life and it will bring me comfort once I pass away. This is what Schopenhauer again written about it. Before Swami Vivekananda's visit, American author Ralph Waldo Emerson, Walt Whitman and Henry David Thoreau popularized the Upanishads in the US. Erwin Schrodinger, a Nobel Prize winning physicist, claimed that the Upanishads had a significant influence on the majority of his concepts and theories. The scientists like Carl Sagan, Nikola Tesla and Niels Bohr were also admirers of the Upanishads. Heisenberg, another different Nobel Prize winning scientist who is famous for his uncertainty principle, visited India and had extensive conversations with Ravindranath Tagore who helped him realize that his theories about quantum physics were not as absurd as they appeared to be to the West. Unfortunately, India has lost its own touch with their own Upanishads.